Okay, so one of the most important functions uh, when we work with the arrays will be a map. So it works with a complex array, first of all, just remember it. And um, just to remind you, the complex array is an array uh, that has items that are not just a text or number, they are just structures like uh, contains collections, arrays, and so on. So uh, that's how works our map. I'm going to start all over again. So you just type it or I use it from here definitely, right? And that's uh, how it looks the function itself. So let's just close this, power the mouse and read the description. So it works with a complex array as a first argument and it uses a key uh, for uh, the items that you want to create a new array for, from, right? So it literally takes a complex array and returns you a new array with the only simple items uh literally uh like with the, with the items we may say right that um you uh point to okay so that's uh, what exactly happening and this is the simple impl simple impl implementation of the map more complex it's uh, you also can use the keys uh to filter these items not like all of them but by particular key and that key also uh, refers to other items. So let's make it simple and let's start to test it out. So we uh, have complex array, which is our records, right? So you remember we have it here. So this record contains uh, 19 items in this case, all of them a collection, have the same structure. So I will start with a simple one and I want to get all IDs of my uh, complex array. So what you need to remember as always reference row value, same thing that we do for our variable creation. So either you hover the mouse here, you see the ID, right, uh, coming up, that this is row value, or you go to output. So you scroll and see the row value, right? Or you may open that and open that, and then you will see a reference and you hover the mouse and then you see again, row value is, this one. So exactly this, like this. And you use this uh, text, so this should be a text, as a second argument. So that will return you array, so you remember, right? It returns you array of some items. It might be complex structure, it might be something, but this will be uh, something that we map it in a new array, okay? So new uh, array that contains items that we have here. Uh, we can go deeper right and we say okay uh, just return us a fields it will be a uh, example of more complex it's not uh, well, fields will be not deeper but that will return us complex items uh, within our new array okay so that will return us uh, you see array of only collections so it might also return the complex items doesn't really matter just something that you point off and again remember it returns array so if we want uh though <laughs> go a little bit deeper right and return let's say names all names from that array so what we do here we simply build the path so better to use i prefer to use output for it you can do whatever you like uh, but this is more accurate and you will always see the structure so i want to get all names right from my from each of my uh, collections right that contains my array so i simply go to fields so i build my literal path so fields same as for variables fields then i have collection and it means dot right dot and name so that will point on items that i want to get from my complex array means that name that name that name and so on until my, my it will point to correct uh, place right so though because the structure is is the same for all these 19 items i will get all these 19 things so i simply copy paste this uh, this one in here it's chrome gives me these slashes so you remember that your uh, items should not have a dot because it will confuse the function it will break because it assumes if it's a dot then it's uh the you know dot notation reference so run that returns me my 
uh, all of my things. So actually, it doesn't. So let's see what's happened. And that was fields and name. So you see, I put uh, actually not me, but the Chrome where he copied the value from gave me a lowercase and that proves that this is case sensitive so make sure you work carefully and check everything so that returns us 19 names that we have here and as you may see it doesn't flatter oh like uh, deduplicate them so i have copies here so for example olivia and uh, olivia or actually this may be wrong uh, James, uh, I'd actually take it from here so we can go and check uh, for some of these emails. Might be this is the same email. Uh, yeah, so it's actually different names. So might be. Let's just double check. So let's copy paste it because it's like in real time. I may uh, see if that will change anything in my results so we will see how that items and our olivia yeah so it's it's not the doesn't deduplicate them right so you see uh these are two the same okay uh so that was simple implementation of the make definitely if you need to get some item from here like a first or so like you get only one thing you can use get function with a particular index but we uh, usually I uh, use this with a more advanced implementation and it will be two more arguments okay so you remember we see him he, uh, that here so we not only going to return the names but we're going to filter this by some uh, parameter so for example my table has that start uh, column okay so this start column uh, have like a one two three person here so what I need to do, I need to find them and uh, definitely find the path for it to filter this out. So let's see, the first one doesn't have it, the second has it, okay? So again, I built my path to this start to show what exactly I want to use for a filtering in exactly the same way, because we're referencing the whole array, so that means our path for the filter will be the same. I mean, uh, the idea to find it will be the same. So we need to reference uh, the things as we did for our uh, previous. So if you just have ID, you put ID. If you have a uh, name, that will be fields name. If you have st started for filter or for the value, whatever, will be fields start. So then I double check this. The row value is start, so good. So I can copy this from here even carefully place it copy that and we build the filter so we're going to say that we want to return array of names field names right where our fields start equal true so this is the value that has my start thing okay so you see that is true it accepts again it accepts the text so it should be text value in here and let's see how that will work and uh, what how you read this one will be literally we map like map to get a new array of something which is fields right so we're going to get from uh, some array items to create a new array items of fields names where the fields start equal true that's how you read the function get from that array that thing where that thing equal something okay and that will return us array so just remember it once again that will be array of something because usually we when we do this filtering for something simple so just assume i want to filter not the field start but let's say some some value uh, let's say this okay so this will be a title so i simply change my filter 
here to title and that's right and you need to you reuse this value somewhere else because you remember you getting the array all the time so we got olivia barton we looked by this uh, parameter chro okay by title to get this name and we got it in array so this a why we usually use a get to not get an array but the value of this guy so this usually you you might see the map with the get um, function in in pair so they will work in a pair so to get the item as as a, just a text or just uh, literally because again it might be not a text but this will be just a uh, exactly a value with not array that contains a value so just for comparison right if you don't have it so if you have the get you you have the value and all good but if you won't right so what you reference in variable if you don't have a get it will be array so then when you will try to reference it will look like this so you will have to reference the first item which is not convenient Okay, so what we also can do, and it's good because we can provide several parameters for filtering. So I'm not going to uh, go to, and uh, for this we use a comma. So that assumes we should not have a comma in the values. So for example, I want to also get the, the musical instructor. So let's see how that works. So the comma and a musical instructor. So that should give me values for these two guys okay so you remember that uh, you can provide several values for your uh, key so we're going to get again from that array of records we're going to get uh, names for the fields title equal where well, like where fields title equal this or this and that how works nam map function 